my disability does not define me. It's it's it enhances my humanness. Nobody can speak better for us than we can, and nobody can understand us better than we can. Somebody with a disability doesn't mean they don't know what's going on. They have a voice in their own way. Be heard and be treated like everybody else. I want to say I am autistic. He says, um, I, I want to say I am autistic, but I'm smart and can achieve many things if they let me. They just walk right past us and just speak right over us like we're nothing to them. ERs are very intense, scary places for everyone. Monitors are beeping, lots of people running around. A nurse says, I'm going to take your blood pressure and takes your arm. Patient with IDD thinks, what's a blood pressure? What is she doing to my arm? Why does it hurt? Will it go on forever? It's about taking the time to understand where that person is coming from. Sadly, medical professionals, like much of society, see people with disabilities as other, a bit less than human. This isn't a value you can teach in a class, but like most prejudices, it can be addressed by finding ways to have doctors in training spend time with people with disabilities and their families. And as for me, I, I feel, yeah, I feel very blessed to have one in my life because, um, it's like there's a um, underlying kind of like um, bond between the two of us. Those of us who are here now have the power to change what the future looks like. And the more we make changes now, the better the future will be. Wow, you guys have really come up with a really great project and are really gonna educate people. Really gonna, really gonna teach people how to help serve medically people with disabilities because it is not easy. You let us have a voice, not our parents, not anybody else, us as the person. I mean, seriously, wow.